All right, guys, check this out. We got a pretty interesting case here. This is a 2023 Peterbilt 579 with a Cummins. We had to pull the DPF because we just couldn't get it to regen properly. Here's the DOC you see. It's got straight through cells. And here's the actual Cummins DPF. Look at that thing. It's packed solid. No regen, no nothing. Completely clogged up. You don't see it this bad too often, but yeah, this one's totally blocked. Let's flip it around, see what's happening on the other side. Gotta be careful not to crack it. Now we'll check for any cracks, but we'll send it out for cleaning anyway. It should clean up. The way Cummins builds their DPF is totally different from Freightliners. Let me show you. Here's why I like the Cummins or Pack Car DPF way more than Freightliners. Let's take a look at how they're different. Here's a Freightliner Gen 1 7 Pre 2022. There's also the G21. That's the EPA 21 Freightliner. They started putting those out too. Still a single piece DPF. But even there, it's a bit different. Cummins and Packard build theirs as a modular setup. Factory process is totally different. It's basically a bunch of smaller DPF bricks all glued together with high temp cement. And that setup is way more reliable than Freightliners, where you've just got one big single piece filter that cracks all the time. So yeah, bottom line, I like the Cummins DPF a whole lot more. Anyway, this filter is heading out for a cleaning on Monday. We'll see what kind of report they give us after that. All right, let's take a look at this side. Once we pulled the cover, no visible damage so far. Looks like it didn't break apart. Now we'll try to blow some air through and see if it clears out. <laughs> 